In this example, we have a variable on both sides of the equation, 5y on the left and 3y on the right. To solve this equation, the first thing we need to do is gather all the variables to one side of the equation and all the numbers to the other side. In order to do that, the 3y on the right hand side of the equation I'm going to subtract because it's positive 3y on the right. So subtract 3y on both sides of the equation, which means on the left hand side I have 5y take away 3y is equal to 3. 5y subtract 3y is 2y. So I simplify by gathering like terms on the left hand side of the equation. In my next step, 2 times y is equal to 3. Well, the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So divide both sides by 2. And my solution is y equals 3 over 2. Let's look at b. Now I have 7x plus 5 is equal to 2 minus 4x. So in this example, we have got numbers on both sides, or constants, and we have variables on both sides. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is look at this minus 4x on the right-hand side, and I'm going to add 4x to both sides of the equation to gather the variables on the left-hand side. 7x plus 4x is 11x on the left. There is still plus 5 on the left. On the right-hand side of the equation, there is 2, but the minus 4x plus 4x is cancelled out. Now, in order to look at this 5, we don't want plus 5 on the left. We want to move that onto the right-hand side. Well, the inverse operation of addition is subtraction, so subtract 5 on both sides of that equation, which leaves me with 11x is equal to 2 subtract 5, which is minus 3. 11 times x is minus 3. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. So divide both sides by 11. And I have x is equal to minus 3 over 11. Let's look at c. c is 3. And now we have brackets, x plus 1 is equal to 14 minus 2x. Well, the very first thing I have to do in this example is to consider 3 bracket x plus 1 and expand that bracket so that I have my expression in expanded form. So 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times 1 is plus 3. And that is equal to 14 minus 2x. Well, as before, I'm going to look at the subtract 2x. The inverse operation is addition. So I'm going to add 2x on both sides to gather all of the variables with x onto the left-hand side. 2x plus 3x is 5x plus 3 is equal to 14. Again, I'm going to now look at the constants on the left-hand side, the numbers that are by themselves. There's a positive 3 or a plus 3 here. The opposite operation is subtract, or the inverse operation. So subtract 3 on both sides, which leaves me with 5x is equal to 14 minus 3, which is 11. Well, 5x is 5 times x. The inverse operation is divide, so divide both sides by 5. And my solution then is x is equal to 11 over 5. Right, let's have a look at d. d is 2 bracket x plus 3 is equal to 3 bracket x plus 7. So now we have brackets on both sides of the expression. Well, first thing I need to do is expand those brackets, as I did in, in C. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times plus 3 is 2 times 3 is 6, so that's plus 6. 
then 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 7 is 21. Again, let's look at the terms with x. There's 2x on the left, 3x on the right. So I'm going to gather all of my variables onto the left-hand side as I've done before. So the inverse operation is subtract 3x on both sides. 2x take away 3x is actually minus x plus 6 is equal to 21. Now the inverse operation of addition is subtraction, so I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides. That leaves me with minus x is equal to 21 minus 6, which is 15. Now the question didn't ask me to solve for minus x, it asked me to solve for x. In order to get x by itself, well minus x, the opposite operation of multiplication is division, so that really is minus 1 times x, so let's divide both sides by minus 1. And that leaves me with x is equal to minus 15.